Good morning. It is yeah, a little after six in the morning. And this morning I'm just shooting the Oneida because I was actually shooting it yesterday and all of a sudden I started shooting like super low and I couldn't figure out what was going on and my knocking point came loose. So I had to fix that and me being the terrible, terribly prepared archer that I am, I don't have records of where my knocking points are supposed to be and stuff and i usually just go by eyeballing it so i'm sure that i've probably changed the height of the my knock here so i'm expecting to either shoot a little high or low now so we're gonna start off at 10 yards and see what happens oh okay looks like it's gonna be about about the same. I shot a little low on that one. Because I was holding a little bit lower. Got the tooth of the arrow broadhead on there. Probably be doing a lot of shooting with that now until hunting season gets here. Alright, so let's go back to 10 and we'll just aim normally. I'm sorry, this is 15, that was 10. There you go, perfect, okay. I'll go all the way back to 30 and see what that does. And then a friend of mine, Sean, said that he wanted to see some of the trail camp picks, so I've got a I was able to piece together some, so after this last shot, I'll just include a little bit of the trail cam picks. I've got over probably, I don't know, three or 4,000 picks this year. Nothing really super huge. I am by no means a trophy hunter, but instead of shooting the small bucks, I like to shoot does for the meat. And there is a 10 pointer and a big high 8 pointer that I wouldn't mind getting on this farm, but we'll see. I'm not a trophy hunter, so you know how that goes. Depends how I am at the mood when the deer comes out. Here we go, 30 yard shot. A little high. I'll take that. All right, hope you're all doing good. I'll catch you on the next one. And hopefully I'll figure out how to attach these uh, pictures. See you later.